Right, I've started with uh, some golden paints, open, which don't dry as quickly. This one's called Mars Yellow, and I've rolled it out with um, uh, actually just a brayer uh, to get an even surface. Now I'm using um, a stencil, which I've cut myself, placed it down, pressing a piece of paper over the top, and that's the result. But actually, it's the pattern that it leaves after it, which is the most interesting. So now we press that down, next piece of paper, yep, and it's this third one, which I think is nearly always my favourite, which is much more interesting, more subtle effects, you can't get that with a brush, really interesting. Right, I'm going to change colours now, use a Payne's Grey. Obviously my brayer isn't clean, but it doesn't matter. And now you can see that the, the stencil is actually still covered with the Mars Yellow. So as I press it down now with a piece of paper, you'll find that the Mars Yellow leaves the pattern on the jelly plate. So now when I take my next print, I get a really, it's almost like batik, wonderful effect with those two colours. And here's a close-up. Now I'm going to take a third print, that's a ghost print from the jelly plate with the, the paint that's left on it. And here we have this effect. And I just love this. Much more subtle. Almost like an etching. Just really love it. And I've got a bit of paint grey left on my brayer, so I'm just going to roll that out. And there's masses of paint left on the stencil, so we'll press that down again, and that will then leave paint and the pattern on the surface of the jelly plate. And let's see what happens now. And pressing it down, and we'll see. You get, but it's just background colour, really. You see the bold print against the, the subtle greys, I just love that. Now I'm changing colours to Naples Yellow, and Naples Yellow is a much more opaque colour, so that will give another effect again. So just bring it out. And now I'm going to use the same old stencil, which is now really covered with uh, paint from the other two colours. Pressing that down, trying to pick up the paint from between the, uh, the holes. Yeah. And this is the final effect. I just love this. This is my favourite print of the all. Okay. Just gorgeous. And there's a close-up of it. Just love it. And here are some others that I've done when I was doing the same print as me, with some more effects. I just, ah, oh, jelly plates. I could just carry on forever, just spend the whole day doing it. <laughs>